Welcome to Burn Downs Country Kitchen. Today, uh, I'm going to do something that I just absolutely love. Um, last summer, summer before, I got into canning. Um, out here in the country, it's just a thing to do. Today, I'm going to go ahead and pickle my own jalapenos. So, we're going to do some canning. Uh, I got me some mason jars. Got me a mess of jalapenos. Uh, let's get after these ingredients. All right, this is actually quite simple. We got some vinegar. We're gonna do equal parts water, equal parts vinegar. This will be for the the rind we make for it. Uh, we have salt and we have sugar. So we'll probably do two tablespoons of salt. This this actually calls for like a gallon of water and a gallon of vinegar. I'm not doing that. Uh, I don't have that much to do. Um, and a cup of sugar. You can use sugar. You cannot use sugar. That's up to you. I'm going to. Uh, calls for a cup. I'm going to go three quarters cup probably. You can also put onion in there. Uh, you can put garlic in there if you want. Uh, completely up to you. Some people do carrots. Uh, that's not really my style, but some people do. All right. Those are our ingredients. So, uh, Let's get after it. The first thing we want to do is get our fine going here. So I'm going to pour this whole thing in here. Doesn't matter how much vinegar you use, as long as you're using equal parts water. Okay. So I'm going to fill it up with water and then uh, add that to the mix. Got it filled up with water now. like that. Nice. And we got our salt and our sugar. And we'll get that on a get on a medium high. Then go ahead and let that boil. We'll let all the mixture dissolve in there. You know we'll get after cutting some jalapenos and onions and maybe some garlic. All right, go ahead and start cutting these up. This garden garbage, chuck it, we don't need it. So do whatever size coins you want. You know, some like them thicker, some like them thinner. Uh, I'm pretty much the only one probably eating these, so. I'll do a variety, a little thin, a little thick. Nothing wrong with that. Garden garbage, chuck that, who needs it. Go ahead and do a bunch of this. I got a whole brand new thing in jars, so. And you know what, this only cost me, I got, I got 11 jalapenos. Uh, yesterday and it only cost me under three bucks it was like two something so one jar of pickled jalapenos will cost you two three bucks so you can do it this way have several jars it still costs you less money this man it makes so much more sense don't it and look it don't have to be jalapenos not everybody likes jalapenos you can get sweet peppers, bell peppers, banana peppers. Now, I feel like it would be irresponsible of me not to remind you to either wear gloves when you're working with pepper, hot peppers or, well, and or, also do not rub your eyes. Stay away from your eyes. Uh, if you don't listen to me, you will pay the price and then that's on you. So, play with your eyes afterwards. I don't care. But, 
I'm just telling you I wouldn't do it. Right, I'm going to cut a little bit of onion for this as well. Let's see. I want them fairly thicker. Maybe like that. This would be good size. Yeah. That'd be good size. Right like that. I'm still debating if I want to use my garlic or not. I got a lot. I mean, I should. It's not really a big deal, but I don't know. Do I need it in there? Probably not. Could I put it to better use? Yes, I definitely can. Will it really affect the taste all that much if I if I put it in? No. So I guess I'm talking myself out of it because it'll just be a waste for as far as I'm concerned. But. By all means, you are welcome to do it. Uh, I'm just not gonna this time around. I got some stuff boiling back there. I got my lids, the tops and the lids uh, soak, soaking in hot water right now, boiling. Definitely want everything to be sterile. Everything to be nice and sanitized. Anytime you're canning, prevent bacteria buildup. Nobody wants to get sick, right? And always, always, always work with a clean station, a clean kitchen. For your sake and whoever's eating your food's sake. All right, enough of my babbling. Okay, I got my lids pulled out. Those are nice and, and uh, sterile. Got everything chopped up. I got my mixture here, ready to go. All we gotta do now is start filling up jars. Uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna use, so I went ahead and got six ready. I do have six more just in case. Uh, these smaller jars, or I have some more bigger ones as well in the, in the room. Definitely gonna wanna leave a little bit of space for the top. Love making a mess, right? If I ain't making a mess, I ain't cooking right. That's how it seems for me anyway. How about y'all? You guys messy cooks or uh, clean cooks? I am a messy cook and a clean cook. I make a mess, man, I clean it up quick. <laughs> Cause I can't handle it being dirty for long. All right, so I'm not even gonna need six. Probably get four out of this maybe. Three. And we'll get three out of it. these together as I can and put them in there with it. I like that. All right, two of those, we don't need them. We can shove some onions in there as well. done right they can hang out as long as you don't open them up for quite a while quite a few months okay so now let's go ahead and pour our juice in here okay 
I'm gonna get you something. I got a chopstick here. Just gonna make sure it's all pushed down. No air bubbles left in there. Pour a little more in there. Like that. That one aside. I got that water bath boiling already. Ready to go. Now we just want to clean off the rim of the jar. Make sure it's got a good seal. Everything's clean. Clean is the name of the game because bacteria will ruin it quick. And that is not what you're after, especially when you're canning, right? Pickling, canning. All right, on to the lids we go. Dang, I should've got more jalapenos. I might have to get some more at the store. I want more, more jars than this. I might get some sweet peppers too. Do some sweet peppers. Hmm. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna throw these in here for about 15 minutes. Typically, you want the water to cover over top of it. This has been boiling a little while, and you can see how when I put it in there. It rises, so it will get up over top of these. Right, we're gonna let that boil for about 15 minutes. All right, y'all. Well, I got that stuff going in the background uh, for that 15 minutes. We got time. Go ahead and take a minute. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, it does me a world of good. I tell you every time. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I enjoy bringing you all content. And I hate this part of it. That's why I always try to wait until later. But it's got to be done. So if it takes time, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe and like, share. Tell a friend, phone a friend. Tell somebody. Write a letter. Telegram. Morse code. Morse code somebody. All right. Let's get after this. Our 15 minutes is up. Let's go ahead and get these out. Look at that. You can see how they change colors. From that bright, bright dark green to the army looking green. That's what we want. Pickled jalapenos. Set them to the side and let them cool off. Man. I'm excited about that. Excited about that. Yep, might have to go to the store and get some more. I think I'm gonna do some sweet or sweet peppers too. Alright y'all, those are done. Um, I'm gonna head to the store and get some more supplies so I can make more. This is not enough. Uh, I got three jars out of it, but I still could have shoved some more in there. Um, but I wanted to make, make it spread out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the store and get some more. I'm gonna do some sweet peppers as well, but come take a look. Alright y'all, that'll do it this time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and learned how to pickle some jalapenos and learn how to can. Um, it's not difficult. You store that away, especially with what's going on in the world nowadays. Not a bad idea to maybe have some stuff set aside for yourself and your family. Um, so I thought it was important to go ahead and get this out there and show you guys. Uh, but that'll do it. Cook something. Cook anything. Make pickled jalapenos. Or sweet peppers, whatever you want, right? Why not? All right, y'all, I'll do it. Uh, 
Till next time.